I am so excited. If you are not excited, as an Addis Ababa resident, as an Ethiopian, as an African, then I don't know what would make you get excited. <laughs> Let me start by recognizing our political leaders, Your Excellency the President. Thank you so much for being with us. Your Excellencies, the speakers of our two houses, thank you so much for joining this joy. Your Excellency, the Mayor of Addis Ababa, our shining star, thank you so much for this leadership. Let me recognize all the political representatives that are in here. Representatives from embassies, high commissions, or international organizations present here. Members of the media, the suburb residents, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of C40 Cities Climate Leadership Group, I would like to thank the organizers for creating this opportunity to celebrate on home ground the recognition that the city of Addis Ababa received a couple of weeks ago abroad. This is fantastic because these awards belong here. Addis Ababa is one of the founding members of C40 Cities Climate Leadership Group, and I would like to thank the mayor for her commitment to addressing climate change and achieving uh, green growth, which is also a national priority, and for active participation in C40. Now, for you to understand how big this recognition is, I would like to just say a little bit about C40 and the process that was followed to actually select Addis Ababa as the winner of the award. C40 is a global network of mega cities around the world. Not just cities, mega cities of population of three million and above across um, the continents. That has the political leadership that has committed to take bold actions in addressing climate change. It is chaired by the mayor of London, Sadiq Khan, and the former mayor of New York, Michael Bloomberg, is the president of the board. In Africa, C40 is represented by the governor of Abidjan and the mayor of Johannesburg as the representatives on the C40 leadership. The C40 cities in Africa include Abidjan, Accra, Addis Ababa, Cape Town, Dakar, Dar es Salaam, Durban, Ekululeni, Johannesburg, Freetown, Lagos, Nairobi, and Twane Pretoria. To underscore the significance of this award to Addis Ababa and Ethiopia, and why we should celebrate um, this, this achievement, let me emphasize a few things about the C40 Bloomberg Climate Leadership Award which is actually funded by Bloomberg Philanthropies, our, fund, our partner. We should celebrate this award because this is a global and prestigious competition that attracts many cities across the world. Addis Ababa has made a statement that an African city can compete with global and influential cities and win, and win not out of sympathy, and I want to underscore this, winning not out of sympathy, but winning on merit. This award is um, not based on a competition with small towns or based on a rougher draw.
We received hundreds of applications. The entries were in five categories, and the Adisababa entry was in the accelerating action category. From the hundreds of uh, entries, the jury selected 20 outstanding finalists in all the categories. In the accelerated action category, the finalist cities were New York in the United States, Amsterdam in Netherlands, Seoul in South Korea, and Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. And Addis Ababa emerged the winner in this category. You will note therefore that this is a highly competitive award and only considers achievements, not potential. So Addis Ababa should be proud today. The selection of the winners was done by a competent and expert jury compri comprising the former governor of Jakarta in Indonesia, former mayor of Quito in Ecuador, three experts, climate experts from the United Kingdom, two experts from the United States, and an expert from Uganda and India, a highly competent jury actually did the selection of the winners. The jury did not just elect Addis Ababa because of their love for the city. The jury noted that Addis Ababa is taking solid waste issues by focusing, is tackling solid waste issues by focusing on waste collection via small and medium enterprises. Within the first six months, the Addis Ababa project produced 421 tons of natural compost and nearly 31,000 tons of recycled material, enabling a 3% reduction on emissions. That, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, is impact. The project scored high on the community engagement and uh, job creation and recorded significant health benefits, including improve, improved air quality. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, what Addis Ababa is telling Africa and in the entire world is the fact that Africa can inspire the world. <laughs> Africa can lead. Leadership is not just about making commitments, strategies, and plans. Leadership is about translating the commitments, strategies, and plans to make a difference to people and improve people's life, lives. And that is what Addis Ababa is doing. This is the reason why we are gathered here to celebrate the leadership of Addis Ababa, the leadership of Ethiopia, and the leadership of Africa to the global community. Addis Ababa is the home of the African Union. And I regard Addis Ababa as the capital city of Africa. It is therefore important to note that the home city of the African Union is leading Africa from the front. It is not just a capital city in name, but it is a, cap it is a capital city in action too. And this, has been, and this has been proven because this is the second global award coming to, Afri to Africa and brought by Addis Ababa. In 2016, I was here in Addis Ababa because Addis Ababa had brought another global award because of the light rail transit system that was also uh, implemented uh, in collaboration with the national government. To me, this is a true demonstration that Africa can develop on solutions to African problems, and those solutions not just be homegrown, but also world-class and competitive. Though not an Ethiopian myself, I am an African, and I associate myself with this victory. And I congratulate Addis Ababa, I congratulate Ethiopia, and I congratulate Africa. My last point is, this success must be sustained. I'm delighted to note that Addis Ababa has a clear program of action to continue doing these impactful activities. 
From a climate change point of view, I'm delighted to mention here that Addis Ababa is one of the leading global cities that have developed a climate action plan that is aligned with the Paris Agreement. And right now, uh, it's, the city is transitioning to implementing that climate action plan. C4 is committed to continuing our collaboration to ensure that the action plan is implemented. And I would like to share with the gathering here that we now have a climate action implementation program that will support the Addis Ababa city government in implementing more climate change related programs. Funded by the United Kingdom government, this program is part of the broader urban climate action program that is covering Latin America, Southeast Asia, and Africa. And it aims to accelerate implementation in the waste sector, building, of, building on this success, and in the energy sector. We are also supporting Addis Ababa to implement the air quality management plan through the C40 African Cities, uh, clean, uh, African Cities for Clean Air program, which is funded by Clean Air Fund. So actions will continue. Addis Ababa is on the move, and Mayor Adeniche is not sleeping. We will see more of these things. And I would like you to recognize that leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, in closing, in closing, please join me in congratulating and giving a loud round of applause to Her Excellency Mayor Adenicha Baby, the city of Addis Ababa, the project team, the residents of Addis Ababa for putting Africa on the map and bringing the trophy to the African continent as the winner of the 2022 C40 Bloomberg Climate Leadership Award. A round of applause, please. And thank you so much for your attention.